Yo guys, so jumping into another tutorial, we've got an image from uh, Jack Gray here, nice guy travels. I'll be linking everything down below. We did a tutorial on him a few months back. You guys love that one got a ton of views so we're doing one on him again looking at his instagram so obviously warm tones and cool tones and there is a lot of smoothness to the image so i'm thinking like bringing down the clarity maybe a little bit of denoise for that extra smoothness and shine um, no grain the curves will play a role in that smoothness obviously those blue and warm tones like look how warm some of these images go and then look how cold some of the images go so playing with those warm and cool tones and the split toning as well yeah i'll be linking them down in the description guys go check them out and yeah let's get into this one i'll show you the cropping first off so uh obviously four by five for instagram let's go back right so let's just bring down overall exposure we definitely want to pop to those whites let's just jump that up um right We'll just do a little bit. So what I want to show you is the curves here and what they would do. So let's turn them on. So why a curve like this? Now here's a really smooth look to his image. So that's why we have, if we click on this channel, with uh, the drop to the whites there, capping off those whites. And then we have a decent fade to those shadows as well. And then in the color channels, there's just a little bit of contrast. So these curves are exactly the same and there's gonna be no color shift, just a little bit of contrast. And yeah, and then we just have those that nice fading to the highlights and the shadows there. So that's what's going on there. Let's just drop that vibrance saturation down. Uh, Clarity's got that super smooth look and then let's just bring in that haze a bit also helps with that smooth look uh, blacks are a bit more contrast shadows let's just bring down exposure a bit more so we can work with our sliders okay we're looking good all right, let's come down to maybe calibration. So we did this in his other one. Now he's got, uh, I would say a brown and teal look. So oranges, warm tones and cool tones. The cools are quite teal and the oranges or the reds, they're a little bit red. So let's just go a little bit to the orange and teal look, but only a little bit. Bring out those tones a bit. Just drop them down and touch. Okay, so we'll just come back up to split toning now and we will uh, add that warmth and cool tones that he has into the split toning. So for the shadows, we're gonna warm them up. Let's just go into the shadows. Let's, uh, 41's good. Let's increase that by nine. And then over here, we already have the, the right amount of hue and I'm gonna put nine in there. So that's a cool teal in the highlights. And then we have the warmth in the shadows and then we are pretty good let's do some color now let's fine tune our color let's just drop the saturation for a few of these get roughly close to where we want before we change the hues um, blues they're only on our subjects there but they do look like they're down quite a bit yeah down a lot and then just Quite often you don't have purple and magenta, but I like to keep them just down, roughly in line with everything else. Um, also the brightness of colors, no greens in there. Um, not too much actually. Right, let's do the hues and we just wanna see we're a bit yellow at the moment. So let's get our yellows a bit more orange. Yep. And then our reds bit more orange uh, we definitely want those teals not a lot of blues in this one but he's got teals throughout all of his images I'm gonna go a little bit that way and then aquas look about right well there's not many aquas in there either yeah I think we've nailed it before so it's obviously very flat and whatever 
profile he's using on his drone. Is it a drone? I don't know. If we look at the settings, take you through the settings. Uh, F4, ISO 200 millimeters and a uh, quick shutter speed because it's nice and bright. And then he needs to be at least double his focal length. Low ISO, nice and bright, F4, probably an F4 lens. And then yeah, it just gets everything in focus pretty much. A bit of drop in focus towards the back of the image there, but we look good. Uh, we don't need any grain, don't need any vignetting or anything like that. Profile corrections we don't need to do. And then maybe some noise reduction because he does have a really smooth look to his image. So we're just gonna go a bit of noise reduction. So I'll just leave that one there. Let's finish with some before and afters. I think the key thing is probably these curves here. You can see how much contrast they add in. Uh, that fade to the shadows. Watch if we take that away, bring that up. Highlights, just bringing that down just to smoothen them out a bit because they are quite bright as well, those whites. And then he kind of has a cinematic look, so bringing down that vibrant sort of takes out the pop and then really smooth, so clarity and dehaze down. And then obviously the split toning of the warm tones and the cool tones. And yeah, a little bit of a orange and teal shift. And that's it guys. One more before and after. And yeah, if you guys love these tutorials, you'll love the course I've been working on the last year, getting together a bunch of awesome creators. We guys get the raw images, get the settings, you go from start to finish because I really do see the problem with the presets. You're probably one adjustment away from making your presets work and making your image look really good, but you don't really know that because you don't have the raw image. You don't have a lesson to go along with it. The goal of the course is to take you start to finish in every single image. So we've got a bunch of different styles taught by a bunch of different creators and myself. I teach the basics in depth approaches on editing photos and then you guys can follow along in these awesome creators in a bunch of different styles and they fill in every single gap along the process like presets is just one part of it but when you get the raw image the preset step by step how they edit their photos their thought process and then you get the final edited image yourself you can learn and deconstruct why that image looks the way it does so sign up in the course down below catch you guys in the next one